Hello everybody, this is David Pinter and this is a quick introduction of Docker Machine using AWS. Um, I have a brand new machine here, uh, Ubuntu 16, that uh, where I've already installed Docker uh, version 1.12 and I've already installed AWS uh, CLI. So we're ready to start. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go root for a second to install Docker machine. Okay, so we're going to get the binary and the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to give uh, execution permissions. We go back to our DP user. We can check the version of our Docker machine. So it's there properly installed. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our first Docker machine. So Docker machine create. We're going to specify the driver, which is going to be Amazon EC2. And we're going to specify also the uh, AMI because uh, if we use the default, uh, for me it doesn't work properly. I think it's because there's a mismatch of versions. My Ubuntu is 16, uh, the default is 15. Um, there's a problem with the certificates. I had similar problems um, when using Ubuntu 16 with other versions of Ubuntu in Vagrant. So I'm gonna select my AMI, which is another Ubuntu 16. Uh, to avoid any problems. Finally, we put the name of our machine, Docker01. And the machine is going to be created in my AWS account. Okay, so our first machine is now created, so we can check the GNOME. Our second node is now ready. Um, if we run Docker machine ls, we can see that now we have two nodes. Docker one is active. We can change that by running this. So we export the right um, environment variables for Docker two machine. Now, if we run Docker machine ls, we can see Docker two is active. Um, Let's go ahead and create another couple of machines. Uh, sorry, another uh, couple of nodes. Um, so we're going to do create again. We're going to create Docker 03. So here's our third node. If we run Docker Machine LS, we can see the three nodes. And let's just go ahead and run something. For example, Alpine, we're gonna run just a very simple hello world. Word. Okay, so it's going to pull the image and then it's run it hello world. Okay, so if we check the processes, we're going to see that hello world has run. Um, it exit nine seconds ago. We can also look at the 
uh, docker images and then we can see that we've downloaded the alpine image now if we change to docker one obviously on um, we do docker machine ls we can see now the one is the active if we run docker ps there's obviously nothing same if we run docker images e even images um, so let's try and run something else in this one so let's do docker run let's run this this is a um, square root calculator that uses um, Node.js so it's going to pull a few images and there you go it's giving us the square root of 64 which is 8 in the same way if we do docker ps we can see that that's run and if we do docker images we can see the image that is downloaded that is called sqrt other things we can do with docker machine is just simply check which one is active by running active and finally I just make sure I don't forget since I'm using my AWS uh, free tier account remove my docker machines okay we can also do minus minus force or even I think minus y so it doesn't ask same for docker 3 so no docker machine ls we have nothing okay thank you very much